Alright guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be making a pork tenderloin with Brussels sprouts and sauteed onions and bacon. So we got to cook the pork tenderloin. If you want to see how to cook the pork tenderloin, just watch my previous video. I'm not going to show it again. It's the same process. This pork tenderloin is just a cracked black pepper on it. That's it. So, I'm going to throw it in the oven. And we'll let it cook. Alright, so we you take your Brussels sprouts and you have this end here, you have to cut that off a little bit to clean it up a little. You don't want that in there. And then we're just going to take it, take those ends off so it's a little cleaner. Put it over there. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to slice it down through so you shave your Brussels sprouts. Now you can go to the store and buy them already like that. I didn't do that today because I just didn't have the time to do it. You just shave them down through nice and thin with your knife. You can use a mandolin if you got it, but I'm just showing you how I do it. And again, you take it off here, take off those leaves, put that over here for now, and then just slice it down through. It's nice and thin. Alright, I think you guys get the concept. We're going to speed this up a little bit. We're just finishing this up here. I'm almost done. In there. So they're just nicely shredded up. I have them in my bowl here. Next we're going to start on the uh, sauteed onion. So you take your onion, cut it right in half. Leave that stick around there. Doesn't matter. Alright and then you're going to take this. You're going to cut this right off because they don't, don't need that. Now you take the peel off and you peel it. And there you go. You have your peeled onion. Now, this is how you do, this is how you want to julienne your onion. You want to take out this core here. Put your knife in like this at two different angles. So you're making a triangle. Then, you're able to take it out. You have the core out. But you don't want that in there. Brush it off. Alright. Now, to julienne up this onion, you're going to take it and go like this. Slice it right down through at an angle. And then you can flip it back over, start back at your angle again. You just keep going down through. And you have your julienne onions, so we can saute them in our saute pan. And it's going to be the exact same process for the other side. Alright, so now we're going to do the bacon. So we're going to take it, slice it down through here. It's just like four slices of bacon. You want to slice it very thinly here, you see how thin that is? You really don't want big hunks of bacon in there. So we're getting these nice small pieces so it can render down evenly. So you have a nice rendering when you're doing the bacon. Rendering the bacon is just taking all the fat out of it and it just comes nice and crispy. And what we're going to do is we're going to saute everything in the fat. If you don't want all that bacon fat in there, just you can take it out and do it separately and then saute everything all together with a little bit of uh, extra virgin olive oil. But I like the bacon fat, so we're just going to do it all together. And we're doing it all in one pan. Alright, now we're going to put it into the pan. We're going to turn on some high heat. We're going to turn on high and we're going to let it sit here and cook. Bacon's starting to turn a little color. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's 
our sauté hanging out together. Add that in there. Saute it up. I guess you color in Now, if you didn't want all that bacon fat in there, you wanted to be a little bit more healthier, you would just take that bacon out of the pan by itself, drain the fat, use a new pan, add some olive oil, and Now, these onions are looking pretty good. It's looking delicious. Next, I'm going to add those Brussels sprouts in there. Toss it up a little. Add in our Brussels sprouts. Now we got all the Brussels sprouts. We're going to cook down a little bit here. Just give them a good toss here. Oh yeah, they're looking freaking good. Looking good. I'm going to saute for a little bit. Now you can see these Brussels sprouts are still a little green. They need to work a little more. But when you eat these Brussels sprouts, they should not be crunchy at all. They should be al dente, you know, just a little firm to the tooth. That's what that means, you know. You bite into it, it's nice and firm. It's not too tough. You know, it's not eating like raw cabbage, basically. Scratch teeth. It's be nicely cooked, it'll be really good. And then we're gonna add some uh, salt and pepper to this and some chicken stock. This is the chicken stock I made in another video and I'll have the description right up in there where you can click on it and see that video of how to make chicken stock. And we're gonna add salt and pepper. Now, when you add salt and pepper to this dish, do not add a lot of salt to it because bacon is salty already. Bacon is very salty. So you just gotta be careful about that. So right now we're gonna just add pepper. Add a little pepper. I'm not gonna add my salt yet because I haven't tried it yet. I've always tried to forget the salt. Alright now you can see that these are getting a little darker because of the pan's getting this is very hot right now because it's in the high heat. So we want to cook in something and we want to cook a little bit in this chicken stock. So we're going to add our chicken stock to it. As you can hear that pan sizzling, it's very hot. That's what you want. Basically steaming your vegetable in there. Bacon's going to stay a little crispy. You're going to cook your veggie. You just cook the little Brussels sprouts right up. You know, it stops simmering, but it's cooking those vegetables up so they get a little tender. So now we're going to plate this up. So we're going to slice our pork, slice it at an angle, and man would you look at that, it came out perfect. Gonna slice it down through a little bit, one more slice probably. Alright, now we're gonna plate it up here real quick. This is how I plate it. Just like that. Some applesauce.
And there you go. So pork tenderloin with Brussels sprouts, bacon, and sauteed onions with applesauce. And like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.